A major admission from Cuba's president amid historic protests both on and off the island. The leader saying his government fell short but stopped before taking full responsibility for the ongoing problems. And it comes as rallies for change continue across Florida. Ezzy Castro joins us now live with the latest. And Ezzy, Cuba's president is asking people not to protest. Well, Justin, the government says they are changing some things, adding that travelers can now bring food and medicine without paying customs. But the people there stress that won't be enough help. If the Cuban people are on the streets, we are also on the street supporting them. Protests continue in central Florida as locals push for change in Cuba. Yesterday, hundreds gathered in Altamont Springs on the corner of State Road 434 and 436, yelling, Freedom for Cuba. La policía le está dando golpe a todo el pueblo. The problem is the governor is punching the whole country because the country doesn't think the way they do. We don't want a dictatorship in Cuba. We want Cuba to be a free country, this man said. Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canel says he's taking the blame for some of the things that's happened on the island, but also called on people not to protest. He said, quote, we must also gain experience from the riots. We also have to make a critical analysis of our problems, overcome our disagreements between all of us. What we have to promote, even though we have different points of view on certain issues, is between all of us to try to find solutions. And we actually spoke to a local Cuban business owner yesterday. He says that this is not just about the lack of food and the lack of medicine, but more so the fight for a free country. Live in Altamont Springs, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6.